What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a really easy way on how to create kids activity books, specifically dot to dot books. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to help me make passive income here online. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. So, a really simple way to create kids puzzle books. There is a brand new software out called Kids Puzzle Books. Now with this software you can create multiple different types of books. I'm going to run through them in a minute. I'm just going to give you a rundown of the software and then show you how to use the dot to dot feature because this is absolutely awesome and there's nothing else like it on the market and it's super super simple so what I'm going to do is um, leave a link for this down in the description below disclaimer it is an affiliate link so if you do decide to purchase I will make a small commission anyway let's go ahead and go through this so why puzzle books for kids it explains a little bit just there about it but here we got one puzzle book alone can earn thousands of dollars which it actually can i have low content books and no content books which have both made me thousands of dollars and you can see that by checking out my kdp income reports so we got their evergreen which means they're going to sell all year round high demand especially right now with everything that's going on in the world there's lots of kids at home and parents want to keep their kids occupied so they're actually buying quite a lot of activity books so we also have a huge market for kids puzzle books and it's pretty easy using this software so how does the software work simply come and watch these videos it's going to show you we have the dot to dot here now the dot to dot feature is only available for the pro level but it is definitely worth the money so if we scroll down to here this is the pro level and you get eight puzzle types so you can create eight different types of puzzle books like you can just on the standard which is 37 dollars and then we have the dot to dot builder now this is mainly the only reason why I brought this software and you're going to see how that works in a second then we have text output option as well so with the kids puzzle books you can make create automated puzzle books eight different types dot to dot use your own words text output and Ken the creator of this has got a complete training with inside this on how to use everything so you can use the software to create a puzzle book add your cover and then upload to amazon and bam you are done so in fact that's enough of the sales page let's go ahead and show you the software so here we are on the back end so as we can see we got home puzzle types so we got all these different types of puzzles that you can create you got the sudoku dot to dot which is by far my favorite and you're going to see that in a minute word scramble word search tic-tac-toe and hangman so from here you can create a new book just here you have your uploads here the dot to dot the output options instructions help logout and pro edition now again i do have the pro edition main reason being is because i want this dot to dot feature so to create the dot to dot is very very simple so you go to new dot to dot now for this it's working best with clip art at the minute but you can upload pretty much any image as long as it's a jpeg hold on that's taken a while to load but as long as it's a jpeg it should be able to work now i don't know why this is playing around like this hold on while i just pause the video here we go so i forgot what i was saying now so any image can really pretty much be uploaded here 
At the minute, the clip art works the best, but I am going to be playing around with a bunch of different images and see what I can do. I'm going to show you an example in a minute of a dot to dot that I did, and it actually looks pretty good. I'm also going to show you how I've put it into Canva and just added a few extra elements. So when you're on here and you've come to dot to dot and you want to create, it's going to say placeholder. Load your own graphic to get started. Because remember, we have to load our own graphics so we can create the dot to dot. So when you're on here, you'd want to come to here, load image. And then make sure it is the JPEG and it has to be the width of 12 thousand pixels or under now there is a video just here we're not going to watch that but if you do purchase the software do watch all the training videos because they're very helpful so we're going to click on here choose file let that load up we're going to take dog and then we're going to upload the graphic then it's going to go back to that page we were just on and as you can see we now have the graphic which is loaded. So you can get a lot of graphics everywhere. One of my favorites obviously is Creative Fabrica, and then there's like Vector Easy and loads of different places as well. So when you've got that uploaded, we have all these different features here. We have Show Background, Hide Background, Reload, Exit, Connect Dots, Unconnect Dots, and all this. So what you want to do once you actually have your image uploaded is just start creating dots. Now you can change these, change the color of the dots to all these ones, black, red, white, and all that. But you want to just find the edge, click, and now we have that first dot. Then we're gonna to go to the second. Now we have the second. And you want to do this and go all the way around the image. Now it's a little bit time consuming, but the more you do, then the better or quicker that you're going to get. And it's, hold on, let me just do that one. So like I said, it is a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. Once you've created your dot to dot, it's done. You don't have to create it again. You can just create more dot to dots, download the images, and then you're going to have your files, which you can create your books with. So let me just do this a little bit more. Come down to here. We'll just do it like that. Go up there. So now I've done that little bit. If we go to hide background just here, we can see that we're starting to get the outline. And if we click connect dots, we can actually see what that looks like. So let's go back to unconnect dots and show background. And then you just keep going all the way around until you have the outline done. So I hope you can see just how powerful this is and how pretty cool this is as well. So let me just go over to my dot to dots. I did have a lot more, but I decided to delete that. <laughs> I decided to delete them because I just wasn't really that happy with it. But this one, I'm happy with this. I'm I've put the dot to dots pretty close together because I am going to be focusing on a kid's book as well and it just looks a little bit better. But what I suggest doing is just playing around with the software and getting a feel for how it works. So I've got this one just here, dog. So to get here, once you've created and saved it, in fact, let's just go back for a second. Let's just upload that image again because I just wanted to show you something quick. So let's go back to here. Let's just click on dog again. Upload graphic. So once you've actually done the outline around your dog or animal or pineapple or whatever your graphic may be, you want to save it. So you just come here, you can put dog and then click save. Then when you go here to my dot to dots, it's going to show up just here all of the dot to dots that you've created. Then from here, you can download the PDF, the image, or delete. Now in a minute, we're going to download that PDF, but first let's go to edit so you can see mine. So here we go. Here's one that I actually did. As soon as I got the software, I was playing around with it, 
playing with shapes and everything else as well just to see what it looks like so i've gone all the way around the edge the dot to dots are a little bit close i probably wouldn't do them as close to this anymore but if we go here and let's go to hide background you can see the image and it, as you can see it actually looks really good and then if we actually connect the dots we can see the outline of the dog so really really cool and i absolutely love this software again if you want to check it out there is a link down below so you can go through and have a look so if we go back to here we can download the pdf which is going to open in a brand new tab like this and as you can see here it is so let's in fact download that so let's do that dog dot to dot and let's click save and now we have that saved we can come over to here to canva in fact let me just find the folder so let's go here to folders and let's go to let's click in dot to dot and here's what i created now because this downloads a PDF, you will have to use a PDF converter. So if you go over to Google and just type in PDF to, oh, can't even do that, PNG like that, click on this first one and then you can convert the PDF to PNG so you can use it in Canva. Then I uploaded that to here and then just click that like that, as you can see. So let me just close that. So from here, I added a few different elements just to make the picture a little bit better. So if we zoom in, scroll up, we have just a, what's this? Just a little line here for the mouth and here are just two circles. So as you can see, just a circle and another circle placed on top of each other to create the eye. So with the dot to dots that you create you can actually get really creative and make some really nice dot to dots so that's the software i think this is an amazing software especially with this dot to dot i've got so many ideas in my head on a bunch of different books that i'm going to create i've also done a bunch of research into a bunch of keywords specifically for dot to dots uh, dot to dot books which i will be sharing within the lcb vault here on thursday so if you want to check that out there's also a link for that in the description below so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos that being said i've been paddy this has been stacking profit and I'll see you again soon.